Hey everyone, welcome back to this playlist, uh, which talks about lots of different interview questions and answers on Tricentis Tosca. So moving on to our next question. Uh, this particular question is related to distributed execution. Now, as you know, distributed execution is a very important component of Tricentis Tosca. And uh, no matter if you have worked on DEX or not, you are going to face uh, at least one question on this particular topic. So coming back to the question, here you'll be asked what issues do you have faced uh, while you have been using DEX with AOS in your project. Now you can uh, talk a little bit about uh, what is DEX uh, and what is AOS, uh, but the interviewer is not actually looking uh, for the definitions of DEX with AOS or of what it does. Uh, we already know uh, what it does. But here the question is more about, have you been involved in setting up the DEX uh, on your project? And uh, what were the issues which uh, you faced? And then how did you resolve them? Uh, what did you do in order to debug this particular issue? And then how did you come up with a particular solution? Now there are multiple issues which uh, you will face uh, while you are setting up DEX with AOS uh, in your project. But uh, try to uh, come up with the most challenging issue uh, which you might have faced while uh, setting up or working with DEX uh, with AOS. And what were the steps which you perform in order to resolve this particular problem? So in my answer, I'm going to talk about one of the most common uh, and one of the most challenging issues, which uh, we will face nine out of 10 times. Uh, if you have not uh, set up uh, the DEX properly, or uh, there are some issues while setting up DEX uh, with AOS. So uh, this particular uh, error, it happens when uh, we are trying to execute a test event uh, using DEX. And then in our event viewer, an error will uh, appear saying that it cannot execute automation objects uh, and an exception has occurred. Now, when you face this particular issue, then uh, there are several steps uh, which we can perform. So the first step which uh, we need to perform is uh, we need to log in into uh, the agent machine where our DEX uh, agent is running. And then uh, we need to go into uh, the DEX agent folder, which contains uh, the configuration and the log. So we have to open the log for that particular DEX agent and then uh, going through the logs, uh, we will be able to determine like what is the exact problem. Now, depending on the DEX agent logs, uh, there could be different issues uh, related to Tosca. So some of the steps uh, which uh, we can perform uh, while we are debugging this particular problem and uh, in order to resolve this particular problem. So first uh, we can check uh, whether um, our agent machine has got the correct license configuration. So whether it is able to connect to the license server and whether it is able to use one of the available licenses. Uh, if it is not able to um, use uh, any of the available licenses, which it is required. And then in the logs uh, also, we will be able to see that uh, it is throwing up some errors related to license. So uh, we need to look at the logs and then we need to also fix the license issue. Either we talk to our administrator or if we are managing our own licenses, then uh, we need to check whether the agent machine has got the correct license server details and it is able to connect to the license server. Now, the second thing uh, which we can do is uh, we have to check all the test cases which are part of the execution list, which we are trying to execute uh, from our test event. Now, uh, looking at the test cases, we need to make sure that every test case is associated with a valid test step. And then it has got all the different uh, test step values, which means uh, there are no missing modules in our test cases. Now, if uh, this is not working, then in the logs, uh, we will be able to see uh, some errors related to null pointer exceptions. Now, the third thing which uh, we can check is uh, we can check the Tosca version, which is installed on our Tosca server and uh, the version which is installed on our Tosca agent. Now, both these versions should be same. If they are different, then uh, it might cause some issues 
and uh, you might see some uh, errors which are related to this uh, in the logs. The fourth thing which uh, we can check for uh, is the use of classic steps uh, in our test cases. Now, the classic engine has been deprecated or has been discontinued from a long time uh, and all the latest version of uh, Tosca is now using um, a different X engine instead of the classic engine. So if we have some existing classic steps in our test cases, then we might get some issues when we are trying to execute it on DEX and uh, that will be visible in the logs as well. So to resolve this, we need to remove all the classic steps or uh, we need to replace them uh, with the latest X modules uh, in our uh, test steps. Then um, the final thing which we can check for is whether our workspace is corrupted. So there could be many reasons why uh, the workspace could be corrupted. Uh, there has been some issues uh, in some specific versions like Tosca uh, 2023.1. They had an issue where uh, it was corrupting the workspace when it was trying to synchronize the objects uh, with the workspace. And this was fixed in the latest versions of Tosca. So whenever we are facing this kind of issue, we can always uh, try and uh, update to the latest version of Tosca where this particular issue has been fixed. So these are some of uh, the debugging steps uh, which we can perform when we are facing this particular issue, which is uh, related to uh, automation objects not being executed uh, when we are trying to execute a particular test event. So these different steps can resolve this particular issue. And if still we are facing this particular issue, then uh, we need to look further into our logs or uh, we need to provide the logs to uh, the Tosca support team who can then help us resolve this particular problem. So this is how you can answer uh, this particular question where you have mentioned one of the challenging uh, issues which you faced while working with a uh, DEX uh, using Tosca. And then um, what were the steps which you performed? What could have been the reasons for the failure? And then what were the fixes uh, which could fix this particular problem? So include all of this in your answer, uh, no matter if you are going to include this particular uh, issue which you're talking about in your answer or you want to include some other issue which you might have faced, um, but try to include all the details, starting from um, when this particular issue occurs, and then what is your next step in order to debug that particular problem, and then how you fix that particular problem. So that's all for this particular uh, interview question. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. I'm always looking out for uh, your comments and feedback, so keep them coming. Um, I'll be soon back with another interesting Tosca interview question, uh, which will be helpful in your interviews. So keep watching and keep learning.